right, everybody. We love the Randall so much that we decided to do one more. Um, a lot of people like to do deconstructed meals. Um, a lot of deconstructed desserts are out yeah, there. Yeah, everything breaking down the elements inside of every meal. Yeah, so we wanted to do something deconstructed. And, uh, well, this, this past week, in honor of uh, Fobab, which is the Festival of Barrel Aged Beers uh, in Chicago, Illinois, we we're deciding to basically deconstruct and re put together a barrel aged beer, barrel aged stout. Um, so, as you can see, we uh, a couple of us actually went. We hung out with uh, our good friends, number six with cheese. We'll put them in the link. We actually took a couple of snaps with them. Uh, what, what a great time that we had with them, actually. Um, so, uh, let's get to it a little bit here. So, for our stout, uh, basically the best thing that the convenience store had to offer it was a uh, port brewing uh, imperial stout. And is, I kinda, that, is that a good one? Well, I, we'll find out, I guess. Actually, I don't think I've ever had this on its own. Okay. But... Um, the reason I chose an Imperial Stout because obviously a lot of barrel aged stouts are higher ABV. This one happens to be 10.5%, which actually works great for us. Uh, the next thing we have here is a little thing of bourbon, Jim Beam. Um, we don't have a barrel, so <laughs> basically in order to get those barrel characters out of our beer, um, we're just going to add some of this. I, uh, I, don't, I don't think this is going to work, <laughs> that part. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. I, I think he might drink it before we actually get I to the part of putting it. I might just have that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, exactly. We're going to put. We're going to get a little barrel car character in there. Um, you know, we'll see. I don't know how we much know. we're going to use. The ratios, we'll see. Uh, usually there's cocoa nibs. A lot, a lot of BA stouts, like on BA barrel age, do um, a lot of variants. So you're going to put, like, cocoa nibs. We don't have cocoa nibs. No. But... Halloween was just uh, yeah. We so got some leftover candy. We got some leftover Halloween candy. We got a Hershey's bar. Um, a lot of times in barrel aged stouts, you'll see things like going down the line. We've got vanilla extract. We don't have vanilla beans, so we're gonna do vanilla extract. extract. Hopefully, we don't overdo it. Yeah, that I think, think that might mess it up. <laughs> I, I think any one of these in too much is gonna mess it up. Yeah, um, especially this next one. Uh, ground cinnamon. You see a lot of cinnamon. Sometimes you see like peppers. Usually and things they like that. put the whole stick in, though, right? <laughs> well, the stick, I believe, just kind of sits in with the fermentation process. Yeah, and then and it's, it's like, done. Right. So, so we're just going to pour this inside <laughs> of beer. Yeah, I think we're going to okay. try and do yeah, that. Yeah, we'll so. do that. Um, that should work out. And then finally, all the time, at mostly anyone, you get a lot of coffee notes. So what we did is we cold brewed some coffee. We actually did use some cool coffee. We used Intelligentsia. Yeah, which, the coffee's actually good. This is just delicious coffee. Which, uh, for you, uh, Barrel aged stout fans out there, uh, you'll probably I know can just that that drink is these in, two uh, together and then just eat this for a snack. <laughs> of course, but you'll know that the coffee is is actually generally used in um, Bourbon County. Um, so very much looking for this. Uh, I think the goal here is to so work backwards. <laughs> work backwards from the end. Work backwards. The use the ingredients. Put it through the Randall <laughs> and see if we end up with amazing barrel aged coffee, which probably won't. I mean, hopefully it's just drinkable. Yeah. But, you know, we figure it's a fun thing to do, so let's give it a shot. Once again. Okay, let's check out the beer after it's been Randall. Want to try that again? Yep. Let's crack it open after it's been Randall. All right. Using some uh, sweet uh, Alter Brewing glasses. Alter Brewing out of Downers Grove, Illinois. Big shout out to them. They took home a medal at Fobab. Yeah, they did. It smells like just cinnamon. So, like, too much cinnamon? Yeah, I think you put too much cinnamon it's in It's going to be more right? I want to find out. Whoa. This is either going to be awesome or just garbage. I'm hoping it's going to be awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Let's go. Hey, that's not bad. Not horrible. You do taste a lot of cinnamon. Too much cinnamon. You definitely put way too, too much, much cinnamon in there. Too, Outside of the cinnamon, cinnamon, vanilla tastes really good. The chocolate, I'm getting some chocolate in there. The chocolate, the coffee. Coffee tastes good. 
just too much cinnamon. <laughs> you just smell it. You're saying you can't. I can't do it. Yeah, it's like taking the cinnamon challenge instead um, of Randall challenge. Yeah, this was our first attempt at this. Um, you know. Oh, I like. It's good though. Yeah. All right. I like it. I mean, personally, I'm like a big craft beer guy, so like, <laughs> this is like not good compared yeah, to anything I've I'm had. into it. But it turns hey, out I like this. Cheers. I'll drink it though. I would do this again. This it, it's tasty. I can keep drinking this. It's, there's no problem. It's kind of tasty. Just too much cinnamon. I keep, yeah, I keep getting hit with the cinnamon. Oh, yeah. So um, oh, kind, of, kind of a different idea for us. Uh, you know, Mike was telling me earlier that maybe we should try and deconstruct a lot of different things. Uh, I, this was good. The idea was a great idea you came up with. I would do it again. I would try to deconstruct other stuff. Find out all the ingredients to well, something like and try and weird, make it. What would be a weird thing for you to deconstruct? Coke. Find out how to make your own Coke. Like Coca-Cola? Yeah. Okay. That yeah. Coke. <laughs> uh, That's going to cut yeah. out. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like Coke would be fun. You know, they they hide their recipe. It's a family I secret. think it would, I think the better one would be like Dr. Pepper. Because they have like all the flavors. Yeah. Or what is it, twenty three or thirty five ingredients? Something like that. Something crazy. Put all that bullshit into a Randall and see what it comes out. I'm down. I'm down. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please, if you enjoyed the video, let us know. Um, you know, we'll, if you have any ideas for deconstructing or any other crazy ideas you'd like us to do, let us please know. let us know. And don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. Thanks for watching. <laughs>